Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Young and the Restless 2 Week Spoilers July 1-12 Victor Wages War and Sharon Spirals Within the upcoming episodes of The Younger and the Stressed, CBS beloved cleaning soap opera, viewers will probably be handled to a whirlwind of drama, romance, and company intrigue. Abby Newman, Melissa Ordway, travels to Paris to confront her mom, Ashley Abbott, Eileen Davidson, and Tracy Abbott, Beth Maitland, enjoys romantic sparks with Dr. Alan Laurent, Christopher Cousins. In the meantime, summer season Newman Allison Lanier offers with jealousy over Claire Grace Newman's Haley Aaron function in her son Harrison's life, so she confronts her ex-husband, Kyle Abbott, Michael Miller. It's about his new job with Audra Charles, Zulika Silver. Jill Abbott, Jess Walton, expresses frustration together with her son, Billy Abbott, Jason Thompson, over firm mergers on Younger and the Stressed. Additionally, Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, sits down with Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, and she or he desires to debate latest enterprise selections, together with the firing of Kyle, Victor Newman, Eric Braden, often called the Mustache, works behind the scenes with Michael Baldwin, Christian Jules Leblanc. He's making an attempt to destabilize Diane Jenkins, Susan Walters, and Jack's marriage. Viewers can anticipate sparks between Audra and Nate Hastings, seen Dominic, and a secret pact between Chelsea Lawson, Melissa Claire Egan, and Adam Newman, Mark Grossman. The Newman Abbott feud heats up once more, promising a riveting continuation of the present's long-standing company battle the week of 7-1-7-12-2024. Get all of your each day younger and the stressed spoilers and information right here at Cleaning Soap Dust, and keep tuned for updates in your favorite characters' fates. The sun cast a warm glow over Geno City, a beacon of light in the turbulent world of its inhabitants. Yet beneath the surface of this picturesque town, the storm was brewing, promising a fevel, revelation, and heartache. The next two weeks would test the resolve of its residents, pushing them to their limits and beyond. Victor Newman stood tall in the sprawling office of Newman Enterprises, his gaze fixed on the skyline. The empire he had built was under threat, and he was ready to wage war to protect it. His enemies thought they could exploit his moment of weakness. But Victor was a man of iron will. The whispers of betrayal echoed in his ears, spurring him into action. There was no room for mercy in his world. As he clenched his fists, he vowed to dismantle anyone who dared to challenge his legacy. The target of his wrath was clear. Adam Newman. Victor's prodigal son had returned with a vengeance, his ambitions as sharp as ever. Adam had always been a thorn in Victor's side, a constant reminder of past mistakes. Their relationship was a tangled web of love, hatred, and rivalry. But now Adam had crossed the line. He was not only threatening the family business but also Victor's very sense of control. The elder Newman knew he had to act swiftly and decisively. War was inevitable. Meanwhile, Sharon Collins was unraveling. The usually composed and resilient woman found herself spiraling into a maelstrom of emotions. Her relationship with Adam had always been complicated, but recent events had pushed her to the brink. The rekindling of old flames had brought back painful memories and unresolved issues. Sharon's heart etched with a mixture of love and betrayal, and she struggled to find her footing. Her sanctuary crimson lights no longer felt like a safe haven. The walls seemed to close in on her, amplifying her fears and doubts. Every corner of the coffee house was a reminder of happier times, moments that now seemed like a distant dream. Sharon tried to bury herself in work, but the constant buzz of conversation and the faces of familiar customers only heightened her sense of isolation. She needed to escape, to find solace in the chaos that surrounded her. Victor's war against Adam began with a calculated strike. He called a meeting with his most trusted advisors, outlining a strategy that would dismantle Adam's power base. The plan was ruthless, designed to hit Adam where it hurt the most. 
Victor knew his son well enough to anticipate his moves, and he intended to stay one step ahead. As the meeting adjourned, a sense of determination filled the room. The battle lines were drawn. Adam, on the other hand, was unfazed by his father's machinations. He thrived on conflict, relishing the opportunity to outmaneuver Victor. The stakes were high but Adam was willing to risk everything to claim what he believed was rightfully his. He had allies of his own, individuals who shared his vision and were ready to defy Victor's authority. The younger Newman was a master of manipulation and he intended to use every tool at his disposal to emerge victorious. Amidst the brewing conflict, Sharon's life took an unexpected turn. She found herself drawn to Ray Rosales, the man who had once been her anchor. Rudy's steady presence was a stark contrast to the chaos that Adam brought into her life, but even as she sought comfort in Ray's arms, Sharon couldn't shake the lingering shadow of her past with Adam. The pull between them was undeniable, a force that neither of them could fully resist. As the days passed, Sharon's turmoil deepened. She began to experience vivid nightmares, flashes of memories that left her shaken. The lines between reality and illusion blurred, and she questioned her own sanity. The people around her grew increasingly concerned, but Sharon pushed them away, retreating further into herself. She was caught in a vicious cycle, unable to break free from the grip of her past. Victor's war raged on, each move met with a counter-move from Adam. The corporate battlefield was ruthless, with both sides suffering casualties. Alliances shifted and loyalties were tested. The tension within the Newman family reached a boiling point, threatening to tear them apart. Victoria and Nick found themselves caught in the crossfire, their own positions at Newman Enterprises hanging in the balance. In the midst of the chaos, a revelation emerged that would change the course of the battle. An unexpected ally reached out to Victor, offering crucial information that could tip the scales in his favor. It was a risky gamble, but Victor was willing to take it. The war had become personal and he would stop at nothing to secure his legacy. Sharon's descent into darkness continued, culminating in a dramatic confrontation with Adam. The intensity of their emotions erupted, laying bare the raw wounds that had never fully healed. In the aftermath, Sharon was left shattered, her heart torn between two worlds. She stood at a crossroads, uncertain of which path to take. As the second week drew to a close, Geno City was forever changed. Victor's war had left scars, both visible and hidden. Sharon's struggle for stability continued, her future uncertain. The residents of this small town faced an unpredictable future, their lives intertwined in a complex tapestry of love, betrayal, and ambition. The sun set over Genoa City, casting long shadows that hinted at the battles yet to come. The storm had not yet passed and the residents braced themselves for the next wave of turmoil. In a world where alliances were fragile and secrets were currency, they knew that only the strongest would survive and so they prepared for whatever lay ahead, each determined to carve out their destiny in the ever-shifting landscape of their lives.